2020 presidential campaign, Biden made several promises, <laughs> including the following. I'm not going to shut down the economy. I'm going to shut down the virus. For the record, those aren't clown horns in the background, but they might as well be. Because as it turns out, more COVID cases and fatalities occurred under Biden's watch than occurred under President Trump's. And instead of Biden shutting down the virus, we're now being told the following. This is, this is, uh, you know, everyone was, at some point, everyone's going to get COVID. Wait, really? Because that's not what we were promised. I'm going to shut down the virus. I'm going to shut down the virus. I'm going to shut down the virus. We're closer than ever to declaring our independence from a deadly virus. It no longer controls our lives. One year later. Everyone is going to get COVID, and because of the hard work we have done since one, since day one, turning around the disjointed uh, COVID response we inherited, we have the tools to ensure that people can go about their daily life and work. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Daily life. Daily life. Got it. Anyway, the Biden administration went from, we're going to shut down the virus, to everyone's going to get COVID. And even though the vaccines were developed under Trump, the Biden administration has the audacity to call the Trump administration's response to COVID disjointed. And then they claim that Biden did all the hard work. And if you think that's bad, here's a clip that the news media immediately memory hold. If the president had done his job, had done his job from the beginning, all the people would still be alive. What? All the people, I'm not making this up, just look at the data. Look at the data. All the people would still be alive. I'm not making this up, just look at the data. And that's a prime example of why you should never trust anything that comes out of Joe Biden's mouth. Not a single f***ing word. And that brings us back around to the first clip. Here it is again. I'm not going to shut down the economy. I'm going to shut down the virus. I'm not going to shut down the economy. Yeah, let's explore that claim. Since Joe Biden took office, the 12-month inflation rate has risen from 1.4% to a 40-year high of 9.1%. And it's Joe Biden's policies that are fueling inflation, including the American Rescue Plan, costing Americans $1.9 trillion, and the $1.2 trillion Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. Another driver of inflation is gas prices. And largely thanks to Biden's anti-fossil fuel policy, the national average cost of gasoline rose from $2.39 a gallon in January 2021 to an all-time record high of $5 a gallon in June 2022. And then there's the gross domestic product, i.e. the value of goods and services produced in the United States. The Bureau of Economic Analysis determined that in the first quarter of 2022, the GDP had a negative growth of 1.6%. And this brought on fears of a recession. A recession is identified when there is a fall in GDP in two successive quarters. And when this happens in the middle of an economic recovery, yeah, that's a bad day. And Joe Biden was asked about it. Well, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm not concerned about a recession. And, I mean, you're always concerned about uh, a recession, but the GDP, you know. So he's not concerned, but he's always concerned. Got it. <laughs> I, I, I promise you. Not the majority of them aren't saying that. Come on, don't make things up, okay? Now you sound like a Republican politician. I'm joking. That was a joke. Good old joke Biden. But all kidding aside, no, I don't think it is. Oh, well, if Joe Biden doesn't think it is. I was uh, talking to Larry Summers this morning. And uh, there's nothing inevitable about a recession. I think we're going to be able to. I think we're going to be able to get a change in Medicare and a reduction in the cost of insulin. Insulin, if you know anybody who has type 2 diabetes or has a child or has it, they need uh, less shots during the week. Stop, stop, stop. The reporter asked about the possibility of an impending recession. And Joe Biden's response is to ramble about the cost